celebrating the season with all of our favorite things, family, food, and lots of lights. But cozying up by the fire can lead to unexpected tragedy. November, December, and January are the most common months for house fires. Those three months alone make up nearly 30% of fires each year. The kitchen is where most fires begin, so before you set out on any culinary adventures, make sure you have one of these nearby. Read the instructions and really familiarize yourself with it. Candlelight is beautiful, but these flickering flames cause roughly 7,600 fires every year, the most on Christmas Day. If you're gonna light a candle, make sure there's nothing flammable within 12 inches, or better yet, Go with these, they're flameless battery operated candles. Some even come with a remote control. They're safe, they look great, and they last a long time. And get this, they're cheaper than real candles. And a centerpiece of the holidays for many families, the Christmas tree. But a dry one could lead to this in seconds. While rare, each year there are an average of 160 Christmas tree fires. So if your tree is still up, remember. The most important step, water it every day. To make it super easy, use one of these. It's called a watering elf. All you do is stick it right into the tree stand. Don't need to get down on the ground and get dirty with those needles and pour the water right in the spout. Before you leave the house or go to bed, make sure you unplug your Christmas tree lights. Once your tree starts shedding needles, that's a sign it's dry and could pose a fire hazard. FEMA recommends throwing out your tree as early as possible and even marking a date on your calendar so you don't forget. Fireplaces are a fun way to warm up during the winter months, but each year there are an estimated 20,000 fires across the country caused by chimneys and fireplaces. So what should you do to safely enjoy this before you light this? Get your chimney inspected by a certified chimney sweep every year because over time, the chimneys collect what's called creosote, which can overheat and catch fire. Often, that's what causes chimney fires. Remove anything that's flammable within four feet and always have a screen to capture any sparks that could fly into your home. Tips to keep you warm and safe all winter long. And another tip when it comes to that chimney, when you light the fire, if smoke goes pouring into your home, make sure you've opened the damper to let the smoke out of the chimney. If you have and you're still getting a smoky house, put that fire out and call a chimney sweep to get inspected right away. Okay. Really useful tips, Vic. Hey, going back to the Christmas tree for a moment, though, you say that we should remove it early so it doesn't dry out, but what's, what's the best way to get rid of it? So you want to check right now with your city. A lot of them will offer a curbside pickup. They'll take it away, mulch it, compost it, what have you. One more tip, though, when it comes to sweeping up all those dry needles, you do want to use a broom. Don't clog your vacuum because those needles are notorious, and that is one hassle we don't need this holiday. All right, Vicky mm. Wen, Vicky, thanks as always. The Very needles are like tips. glitter. You just find them Speaking exactly. All year well, Dylan and I were just saying our trees are because of COVID. I'm sure a lot of people got their trees early this yeah. year to celebrate, get that mm -hmm. that festive environment in their homes earlier, so they're extra dry. Oh, yeah, mine yeah. Is so beyond mine is ridiculous. You anymore. need a lot no, of water. <laughs> yeah, I like those electric candles though. Yeah, it's a good those idea. Those are good to have around. It's good, especially yeah. if you have small kids, especially. Yeah.